Walter's West Palm Dog. And today, with Walter here, we're going to be working on some leash walking. But we're going to start off very simple. Okay, one, we've got a training collar on him. So what that does is that prevents him from putting a huge amount of pressure on the leash. When he was on the harness, he could just completely dedicate as much power and force towards going forward. And there's very little I could do about it. Now with the training collar, when he runs into the end of the leash, I can actually give him a correction and it creates a little bit of hesitation. Now, the exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing what we call circles of control. He's gonna be on my left side while I make left turns. Now, he's only allowed on my left side. The reason for that is because I don't want this switching behavior where he thinks he can weave in front of me or weave behind me and end up on my right side. The left side is the only left side he's allowed on now. And what this also does is you'll see me like bump into him and walk into him. What I'm teaching him is that I'm dictating the direction of the walk. He's been used to basically surging forward and I'm just getting pulled along with him. He's the leader of the pack or leader of this direction. That's not what's happening. I'm choosing the direction we're going. So you're gonna see me using my body to help him understand that my trajectory needs to be respected. All right, let's go. Do you see how I'm constantly staying in front of him and I'm not letting him dictate By the way, they do this with horses all the time. There we go. So now there's a little bit of frustration. Now he's looking up at me and he's wondering, why the hell are you walking in a circle? Well, what's happening is it's changing his perception of what a walk is supposed to be. In his mind, it's always been just go. Here, he's having to pay attention to the way in which I move, how I move. And if I change directions, he needs to respect that. And so as a result now, I'm, not, I'm changing directions and I'm barely bumping into him. Because he's aware of what I'm doing. And this is a fundamental difference in the way he's been walking before.